the final verdict is really not out yet. But the direction seems very, very clear. The speaker also talking about how the 2018 party structure, the extended leadership structure is not really in line with what the election commission has been said. Very, very clear indications of where this would be going towards. No, I'm not surprised with the indication in which direction this is going. Uh, very clearly, uh, the speaker, who was supposed to act like the tribunal judge to make a non-partisan decision, has chosen to rely on something which is incorrect, untrue. For, I'll tell you why. Firstly, 2018, uh, uh, you know, amended constitution, uh, as per election commission, they don't have a record of it. So with all, you know, um, humility, I'd want to ask the election commission, in 2019, every single Rajya Sabha MP, Lok Sabha MP, uh, elected representative in the legislative assembly, and even the local bodies have to have an AB form signed before election commission holds it legal, tenable, and allows the candidate to contest or to be in the Rajya Sabha or in the MLC. Every AB form was signed by Sri Uddhav Bala Sahib Thakre, or as mandated by him by Sri Anil Desai ji. Then how is it invalid now? In 2019, what was valid becomes invalid in 2024. The second question, all the party emails, decisions, or whatever election commission wanted to speak to the party leadership would go to Uddhav Bala Sahib Thakre. So how is it that election commission decided that he is the party president? So this is, and if they felt there was no intra-party democracy, I would want to, with all humility at my command, want to ask the election commission, what action is it taking against several other political parties which function on the basis of what the president of the party decides? And president of the party is chosen after a strong will of the people and the party members and the cadre. So whatever is happening right now is a mockery of what the Supreme Court has mandated. Supreme Court has said Schedule 10 is supreme of the constitution. And what is happening is a mockery of just that. Should either the Supreme Court is correct in its verdict or what the Speaker is saying is correct. It's unfortunate that Election Commission, right from deciding who gets the Shiv Sena party symbol and name, to deciding whether the Constitution is valid or invalid, Election Commission has been found wanting. Priyanka, just something that's coming in that... Uddhav Thakre ki yachika ki unhone eknat shinde ko party se nikala ye manya nahi kyunki party ke samvidhan ke mutabik akele paksh pramukh ke paas neta ka neta ko nikalne ka adhikar nahi hai. So he is now saying that Uddhav Thakre did not have the right and he is going on to on the basis of what the amended version of the 2018 constitution is vis a vis what was with the election commission vis a vis what was the original Shiv Sena constitution and also saying that the two factions have very different ideas and uh, statements on the leadership structure. So now essentially saying that Uddhav Thakre did not have the right to do what he did in terms of expelling Shinde after what really happened. <laughs> You know, we've grown up over the years listening to a phrase which says, Vahi hota hai jo manzure khuda hota hai. But now that we are a republic, Vahi hota hai jo samvidhan kehta hai. But we are living in an era post 2014 which says, Vahi hota hai jo manzure Amit Shah Narendra Modi hota hai. And this is what we are seeing that entire, the, the statement coming true in action in the assembly right now. Like I repeat and I continue to repeat, it is a mockery of the Supreme Court judgment on 10th schedule being final and invalidating the chief whip appointed by Eknath Shinde faction, invalidating the floor leader appointed by the, uh, by the Shinde faction. Today, they are actually validating everything that is unconstitutional, immoral and illegal. I'll give you examples. As per the election commission, and election commission law suggested that the party cadre split is only, uh, you know, mandated when there's a two-thirds split in the party, right across, it's a vertical split, right from the office bearers to national executive members to party cadre to elected representatives in the assembly, in the uh, local bodies and in the parliament. What it did was it decided on the mandate only on the basis of elected representation in the assembly and elected representation in the parliament. It absolutely disregarded the affidavits that our faction had put in in terms of cadre. What we had submitted in affidavit were in lakhs. In terms of membership, what they submitted were in thousands. 
Yet election commission took a decision. It's like this. आपके घर में कोई चोरी करता है जो चोरी का सामान है आप पुलिस स्टेशन जाएंगे कंप्लेन करने पुलिस कह देगी कि जिसने चोरी की है वही उसका उत्तराधिकारी है आप लोग बेवजह ही बेफिजूल ही आकर कंप्लेन कर रहे हैं दिस इज एग्जैक्टली वॉट इज हैपन इन द इलेक्शन कमीशन आई हेट टू से दीज आर सम वैलिड क्वेश्चन इलेक्शन कमीशन नॉट टू थाउजेंड एटीन इफ देर इज नो रिकॉर्ड ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एटीन हाउ इज एट मिस्टर टू थाउजेंड एटीन बाई द इलेक्शन कमीशन Ms Chaturvedi now yes, with listening. what has happened before the speaker very clear of what is going to be unfolding we've seen what's happened with the election commission maharashtra is gearing up for mega elections india alliance is already in talks of what is going to happen 2020 2024 is going to see a massive election it's a blow after blow what seems to be unfolding for the ubt faction or the udhav thakre led faction from the name to the symbol that has been given to them to now what is unfolding how how do you look at the days and weeks that are going that are right before you i am very confident that the people of the state will stand by udav bala sahib thakre ji right from we have continued to say democracy doesn't function on the base of uh, you know some decisions taken by some uh, uh, you know traitor mlas on the basis of how uh, supreme court mandates that or how the constitution works or how uh, a speaker will decide democracy functions totally and beautifully when the people of the country decide people of the state decide people of the state you can look polls after polls that have been conducted after the split before the split show udav bala sahib thakre ji is a very popular leader and they believe what happened to udav bala sahib thakre was nothing short of treachery let me also tell you and remind you no by election has happened in the state ever since this government came to power no local body elections have taken place no elections for even state uh, university senate is being announced this is the situation of this government right now it does not even believe in its own winning capacity we are very clear people of the state and with all humbleness at my command and all humility in my command i would just say this people of the state continue to stand by our party leader uh, our cadre continues to support udav bala sahib thakre ji a few traitors will not decide how the state the state will run how this country will run how the constitution will run and how democracy will run democracy and constitution will prevail and we will ensure that in the upcoming elections we are more inspired than before more motivated than before like i said it does not come as a surprise as to what the the the, the line that the speaker has taken and we will fight this tooth and nail when we go to polls and people will decide people of this state will decide who will be their leader Ms. Chaturvedi, just my last question, and while you are saying you're very confident, um, the challenges within uh, the India bloc itself are huge. What seems to be now the challenges within the Uddhav Thakre-led faction also, is, before the Uddhav Thakre-led faction at least, is huge. But that apart, you know, one of the things that really surprises, and what the speaker is saying, and this has come up before as well. The speaker has reiterated this that the Uddhav Thakre faction has failed. to present papers that can prove that the rashtriya uh, karyakarini meeting was held whereas the uh, the shinde faction has been able to prove that it was not held and this according to the speaker is also a big reason why he has not been able to just stick to the 10th schedule but go beyond that with what the ec has really said for the jurisdiction reason technical reasons being given but how would you respond to the fact that evidence no, was actually, not enough according to what the speaker is saying actually step 1 of what your question india alliance seem to be going different ways let me ask you a simple question the maha yuti which is in power right now forget Mah- i won't call it maha yuti i call it maha juti has ncp in its fold the same ncp which the prime minister was speaking against and said they involved in a 70000 crore corruption case and that is mr ajit pawar it goes against its own ideological belief at that it has taken on uh, ajit pawar along with them forget all that aside so before you question the india alliance uh, unity we should question the maha juti alliance which has come together on opportunistic belief now part 2 the technicality what the speaker has said is that this rashtriya karyakarini was not held as per the constitution that the rebel the traitor gang believes of 1999 
But I again reiterate this question. If 2018 constitution was not with the election commission or 2018 Consti amended constitution was against the will of the Shiv Senics at that point in time, why is it that no Shiv Senic spoke against them? Why was Ekta Shinde quiet? Why did Ekta Shinde on the AB form signed by Uddhav Sah Sahib Thakre contest an election? Why did his son Dr. Ekta Shinde contest on an election sign on an AB form signed by Uddhav Bala Sahib Thakre? Why did all these 40 traitors sign, uh, you know, uh, contest an election if they did not believe in the leadership of Uddhav Bala Sahib Thakre or they believed it was not going constitutionally correct or as per the constitution of the Shiv Sena? Why didn't they raise this objection to the election commission before they contested the 2019 right. election? They are just shameless liars who want to be in power till the time all these constitutional immorality gives them the power to do so. But I can tell you, people understand this. People know that who is working for them, who is working against them. They also know that since 2020, whenever the, ever since the government has come into power, all the uh, jobs and all the promises made to the people of the state have been long denied to them. Right. Industries are moving away from the state. Things are going against right. the state, against the will okay. of the people of the state, and they will teach them a lesson. That is all I can say. Right. Thank you very much, Ms. Priyanka Chaturvedi, for joining us, putting in your perspective very clearly. A massive challenge, a blow at first time, but they say it's not surprising. A massive challenge before the Uddhav Thakre camp, um, even as they gear for a very big elections and uh, seat-shedding talks with the Congress. But...